Meanwhile, over in the Champions League, we're entering the semi-final stage, which means there are only four teams left. But out of those four, who's going to make it to the final? We'll talk about it next. That's right, folks, back once again with another prediction video, this time looking forward to the old Champions League semi-finals. And first and foremost, we're going to take a look at the first leg, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, stop what you're doing, swallow what you're chewing, and smash that subscribe. Okay, you bang up to date with all things Champions League related, Blabbin Rovers related, whoa, football related. We're going to all here under one roof. And what a video we got in store for you today, taking a look at the old predictions for the semi-finals. Before we get into that, just want a big shout out to two Patreons brand new patrons to the to the exclusive VIP club that is Blackburn Overseas Ben Hayward John Spurn they are patrons if you want to join this illustrious gang of VIPs uh, who get extra privileges and all that kind of good stuff from me, the creator here over on Blackburn Overseas. Head over to the old Patreon page. Link to that sucker is in the old description below. There are three different tiers you can explore, each offering uh, different perks uh, and, and, and exclusive content. Um, if, you, if you are interested, check it all out in the old description below. Uh, there is a link towards it. But anyway, let's kick it off further and take a look, first and foremost, at how we got to the semi-finals. So let's take a look at how we got to the semi-finals. First and foremost, let's take a look back at the quarter-finals, second legs. And Juventus took on Ajax. Uh, big one, this one. Shock. Major shock on the cards. Ajax coming out on top with a 2-1 win away from home. Over in Juventus, Ronaldo, even Ronaldo couldn't stop uh, uh, Ajax from getting themselves into an impressive uh, semi-final. I think at the initial start of the season, I'm sure uh, the Dutch fans didn't expect nothing more than, than the group stages maybe to get through to the knockout phases, but they've, they've kept up in their impressive run and they'll go again. This time they're going to go up against Tottenham. We'll talk more about that in just a second. Uh, uh, that 2-1 result was a, was to, to, to push them through 3-2 on aggregate over over Ronaldo's Juventus, actually sort of going in favour of Juventus, 3-2, 3-1 uh, uh, on the night. Uh, so ultimately, the Ajax are through, Juventus are out, and joining them uh, will be Barcelona after an impressive, in fact, it wasn't that impressive, but a convincing 3-0 winner over Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's Manchester United, who have hit an absolute roadblock at the moment. They don't look like, they don't look anything like a Champions League team as it stands. Uh, that 3-0 made it 4-0 on aggregate. Uh, I actually saw it going in favour of Barcelona. I thought it was going to be 4-1. So we've got the right deficit, uh, just uh, just got the wrong scores. So 4-1 Barcelona, uh, that was my call. 3-0 on, uh, on the night, 4-0 on aggregate. We'll get there in the end. Uh, meanwhile, over on Wednesday, what a game this was. Wednesday the 17th of April, Manchester City up against Tottenham. Um, uh, Tottenham had the 1-0 lead going into this, and that 1-0 lead... Um, was enough because they kept the clean sheet at their own place. No away goals. 4-3 it was on the day. This game had everything. Goals disallowed, VAR, penalties, uh, all the kind of good stuff. It was crazy business. And that clean sheet uh, over at uh, Tottenham's Fancy Pants New Stadium was enough to go to put Tottenham through 4-4 on aggregate. I actually saw it as convincing Manchester City win 3-1. But no, Tottenham, Tottenham rose to the occasion and, and deserved their semi-final place. And it's going to set up a nice one up against Ajax as well. One of either Ajax and Spurs is going to the Champions League final. There's no doubt about it. Uh, and wrapping up the quarter-final stages, it was Liverpool uh, against Porto over in Portugal. I actually saw this. Uh, we'll tell you how what I saw it. But it was a 4-1 win in the end for Liverpool to make them go through 6-1 on aggregate. Convincing, comfortable win for Liverpool. They probably didn't even get our second gear. I actually saw it as a 2 1 win for Liverpool. So uh, they ousted my predictions quite convincingly. But overall, uh, 2 out of 4, not too shabby uh, indeed. But it does set up two interesting semi finals. Um, first legs as well. Tottenham up against Ajax. This game will take place on Tuesday, the 30th of April. They've not, according to my stats, they've never played each other. But it's two interesting teams and you you know Tottenham have, have turned a corner in recent years to become one of the elite clubs in England and I'm, I'm hoping for their sake uh, that they will make it uh, as Premier League champions one day but they've got the they've got a uh, they just feel a lot better club but better run club than some of these bigger boys the Manchester Cities and all that it feels a lot cleaner uh, they didn't invest too much money in the in the summer in fact they didn't invest anything in the summer um, so I'm, I'm all for Tottenham and in fact I'm all for the winner of this one uh, to go all the flipping way and win the stinking thing it'll be a good it'll be a good result for for, for uh, clubs uh, outside the power 
the power six or the power ten or whatever you want to call them. I think either Tottenham or Ajax, if they were to come out on top uh, and win the whole thing, stinking thing, it will be a breath of fresh air. But anyway, about this game, uh, Spurs come into this and their home form at the moment is absolutely bang on the nose. Four wins out of four. Uh, and the last time that they couldn't win a ticket win, that was a draw. And I believe that wasn't even at their own home place. That was probably... Uh, before they moved, uh, so that was a uh, so unbeaten in five. Uh, but most recently, they've won all their games at their brand new Fancy Pants Stadium. As for Ajax, they come into this uh, in a bit of a, a, a good period for them because they've actually taken some extra time off. The, the Dutch FA have kind of postponed the Dutch Eredivisie Divisie uh, matches uh, until the completion of of the Champions League phase to give Ajax the better better option here. Uh, and their away form coming into this is pretty good as well. Just the one loss in the past uh, six games. And that's against I said Agmar back in the 17th of March. But they've beaten Juventus at their own place. They've beaten Madrid at their own place. Can they be the first team to beat Tottenham at their own place? Unfortunately, I don't see it. I think Tottenham will win this game. I'm not saying they're going to go through and win the whole tie. I, I still think there's a lot of football to be played after the conclusion of this. But Spurs will win this and they will go to Ajax with their noses in front. But Ajax, on the flip side, will have that illustrious away goal to give them a bit of hope uh, in, when, the, when the return fixture comes around. So that's my call on this one. A 2-1 -on win for Spurs at their old Fancy Pants new stadium to give them the edge. As for the next one, will take place on Wednesday the 1st of May. That's why we're rolling into the final month of the season and it's Barcelona up against Liverpool. Now, according to my stats, uh, the two sides have played each other, well, at least over the last six occasions, uh, uh, Liverpool have actually won one, two, three of those uh, and Barcelona have won two of them and then they've drawn one between them. But the last time that these two sides played at uh, the new Camp, Barcelona won 2-1. Two, one. Sorry, scrap that. The last time that these two sides played at the Camp New, Liverpool won 2-1. One. That was all the way back uh, 2007. Um, back in February, 2-1 uh, victory for Liverpool. Um, however, the, the last time that they, they, saw, they played each other in all competitions, whether it's some funky Mickey Mouse sort of friendly competitions, Liverpool did beat Barcelona uh, 2016 4-0. Uh, so I don't think we're going to get one of those. Uh, meanwhile, on the flip side, home form and all that kind of good stuff. Let's take a look at this. Uh, Barcelona's home form is deadly. They've won the last five on the spin. As for Liverpool's away form, it's pretty, pretty shit hot as well. They've won five at the past six. Uh, and that only draw, their only slip up was a draw against Everton. Uh, so they've beaten Cardiff, Porto, Southampton, Fulham and Bayern all along the way in the past five away games. It's a tricky hurdle for Liverpool and I, I think they will get, get un, unstuck here. And just like the Ajax situation, they will they will lose. They will lose this game uh, on the 1st of May. And I see it 3-2 winners for Barcelona. But don't write yourselves off just yet, Liverpool. I, I, I think you've got enough in the tank to, to, to rise above the occasion. Those two away goals will be massive because I know you're going to score goals at Anfield. It's just a matter of how many. Uh, so Barcelona will win it 3-2. And them and Tottenham will have the edge going into the semi-final second legs which are just around the corner. That's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a good old thumbs up. And if you're new, turn the channel, smash the old subscribe button, keep your bang out to date with all things Champions League related, Blackburn Rovers related. Woo, boo, boo, we're going to all here under one roof. And now, while I still have you, make sure you check out the old uh, links in the old, in the old description to my other social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, and the hotly released Patreon page. If you want to uh, contribute to the channel in another way uh, beyond your viewership, there is alternatives for you there. Three different tiers for you to explore. Uh, the channel currently is not monetized uh, by YouTube. That is something that I probably will explore a little bit later on uh, in the year. But right now, not getting any money bar the Patreons. Uh, and I do applaud those guys for, for, for coming in and, uh, and and helping the channel grow a little bit. But uh, yeah, also make sure you drop your own predictions down in the comments section down below. I want to know what you think is going to happen in the, in the interesting semi-finals. Obviously two juggernauts, uh, recent winners of the old Champions League in one semi-final and two kind of young fresh kind of looking sides in the other one. It's going to set up both interesting semi semi-finals but an interesting final when we get around. Anyway, until then, folks, I'll do the second legs a little bit later on when they come around. But until then, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.